Hey there, in this tutorial I'm going to be giving you a little overview in uh, Motion as to how we can begin to build up textures and um, overlay them and use different screen blending modes um, to create the type of effect that you want. So, those of you who have a Photoshop background will probably be already be quite familiar with this. Um, so I'll just show you how it's done in Motion and for those of you who are new to this type of stuff, um, you'll see what I'm getting at. So. Here's our new motion project, and I've got a couple of textures that I want to combine. So let's say I have this texture here, which is some um, sheet metal with rivets in it. And I also have a rusty type of metal texture, like this one, which is in a, a green color. And I'll drag that also into our project. So I have these two textures here inside of motion. You can see they show up here in a group which I'm going to label metal texture. So I'll just resize the, uh, the two textures. They're approximately the same size. There. And uh, as you can see individually they work, but uh, let's say I want to have this green texture with the rust and I want to add the rivets to it. So what I would do would be uh, rearrange my textures so my rivets is above. So you just drag it here and you see this will change the order in which they are, they are stacked. And, and then I'll go to my inspector and with my rivets selected I'll go to the properties and I want to change the blend mode to overlay and you'll see what that does where the two actually intersect where the overlay it's almost like now it becomes if I match them up one texture so now I've got my green metal my green rusty metal with the rivets added to it you see the color changes slightly it gets a little bit lighter because of the lighter color of the rivets but we can add some color filters to begin to change that to get it how we want. So I'll just match up these textures exactly. Just on the edges here. Just to clean everything up a little bit. And uh, you can see we get this snapping when we have the, uh, the yellow lines. If you hold down the command key, it temporarily will turn snapping off. So you can line things up exactly as you want them. There we go. Okay. So now we just want to add a bit of color correction to this because um, we've got our green color, but it's gone a little bit lighter because of the lighter color of our um, other texture here. So we'll go over to our library and we'll go to filters and color correction. And then you see we get all this list of different uh, types of colors that we can get here. So I'm going to go ahead now and grab um, the color balance and I'll drag the color balance over and apply it to our group. Now if I go to the inspector, see here then I can begin to manipulate the color in our shadows so we can reduce the amount of redness which affects our rust, we can change the amount of green, so obviously that's too bright, so we'll just turn down the green a little bit, and take down some of the blue, so there's our shadows, then we can do something similar with our, with our mid-tones, we can adjust how much we have, and in our highlights also. So that's corrected the color approximately how much I want. And then I will, may want to also add to this a, a hue and saturation. Uh, sorry, um, a, what would it be? Um, brightness, brightness. Color, see channel, uh, brightness here. So we'll drag over our brightness and we'll drop that on. Go to our inspector. We can change here then the brightness of 
of this. So maybe I'll just brighten it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. So that basically is how we would combine the two textures. So you can see uh, if we take those color corrections off, that was how it was before. And this is with our color correction added. And uh, if we take that away, that was our original rivet texture. And this was our original green metal texture. So, you know, each one on their own would maybe have its own use, but when combined together, you would never really know that that was um, two different textures or two different images that have been blended together to create this type of effect that, um, that we've created here. So that's how you blend together two textures using the um, screen overlay um, blend mode, and then uh, just adjusting the colors using a couple of color filters to get the desired effect. So I hope this was of some use to you. You can go over to my um, blog. You can see lots of other Final Cut Pro and motion tutorials there. And there's some free um, plugins and uh, templates to download. Uh, if you found this video useful, please like the video and don't forget to follow my YouTube channel and uh, so you can get up to date with all of my latest tutorials for Motion 5 and Final Cut Pro. So I'll see you next time.